Eternal. Asking specifically yes. for the measures you are willing to take to keep these people out of Hungary. Well, if we have the physical obstacle, we have uh, the police there, so now we are successful in uh, keeping these people out of the country. Would you also be willing to shoot people to prevent them from crossing the border? You know, I mean, why, why should we speak about that? We have the fence, uh, we have the, the police there. In, the, in this concrete form, we are able to protect the border. But, 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 one thing should not be forgotten. One thing should not be forgotten. That those, those who uh, violate our border should not be considered as heroes, should not be considered as examples to follow. Because, excuse me, there are international regulations how you are allowed to enter a territory of a country. And it's not a human right to violate a border of another country. We, we, have, um, uh, we had the pressure on our border from Serbia and from Croatia. In these two countries there is no war. Nobody's life is in danger. So my question is, what kind of right would anybody have to violate a border between two safe countries? Where is it written in international law that if I feel like going to another country, I can violate its border? There is an international law, uh, an international right to asylum, but let, let us move on. No, no, but, but, but come on, but, 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 but wait, wait a second, because international law speaks very clearly that if one has to uh, escape from his or her home, is entitled to stay on the territory of the first safe country. My question is that those who stay in Serbia, for example, why would they have a right to come to Hungary or Germany to ask for asylum? Why they do not ask for asylum where they are in a safe country? That's my question. I actually was at the Hungarian-Serbian border two years ago and I talked to people on the Serbian side mm -hmm. of the fence who live under, te under terrible condition yeah. and who've been brutally beaten up by your border police but it's and not true. pushed don't, back don't. to Serbia. I, s I saw people and the wounds of the people um, and that's against the rules of the Convention for the Protection of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. So in doing so, you are violating European rules. Yeah, How do you justify this action? But if you say this, um, you, you have to be responsible for what you say, because there are people listening and watching what you are saying. And you heard something. No, you heard, I was you, there. You heard actually, but have you seen any Hungarian border guard beating anybody who violated our border, because this is what you say now, that Hungarian border guards have beaten uh, people who violated our border. What kind of proofs do you have for that? I saw the wounds of the people. And, 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 and did you see who caused those wounds for them? Or you just heard them saying that who did it, right? I'm not the only one who's saying that. For example, the Hungarian Helsinki Committee also talked about... Yeah, but once again, if there are five people saying about you that you stole something from a shop, does it make a fact that you stole from the shop? Because I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, putting such an accusation on a country in front of public without any kind of evidence, I think that has to be rejected. Because, once again, you consider those people heroes who are violating the border between two safe countries, who are clearly violating international regulation. Because, once again, I have to pose this question. What kind of right would justify or what kind of piece of international legislation would justify that someone from a territory of a safe country goes uh, to the territory of another safe country uh, by being violent and aggressive, by violating the border.